about. I know somebody is going to take you through on how to get the university email. You are also going to be taken through on how to access the website. You will also be taken through on how to download the examinations. And then my advice to all the students is that once you have downloaded the examinations, please begin by reading the instructions. Read the instructions because each examination has its own instructions. Read the instructions and understand. Don't just rush to do the work that you don't understand. First, understand the instructions, get to know what time you have been given. And uh, the other issue we assume and we, we were praying for is that the student should be as ethical as possible. We are not examining your brother, we are not examining your neighbor, we are not examining your uncle, we are actually examining you. If you don't be ethical and do the examinations by yourself, it means tomorrow you will go out to the field carrying somebody's marks. And what you will portray as you are asked to perform some duties will not be exactly what they had seen in your results. So try as much as possible to do these examinations by yourself. But above all, respect the time of examinations. Respect the instructions. You are also going to be taken through on how to upload the work back to the what? Back to the system after you have done your exams. Uh, the other issue you need to understand or to know is that once you are not qualified or once you have not cleared the school dues or the university requirements, you will not be able to get into the system. And we shall not accept any examinations which is presented outside of this system. I know some of you might think, for me, I will send to, I'll, when I, I'll download exams and send to my friend who has not paid the tuition, my friend will do and also send it to the email of the lecturer. The lecturers are not allowed to receive any kind of examinations outside the system. We have the control point and that's uh, from the university and somebody is going to take you through all that. I don't want to spend much of your time because I know you are eager to hear and learn and get to know what to do as the process goes on. But I just say thank you so much. I pray you take through the, these people and let them understand the right thing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Tim. Yes, Joseph. Um, thank you, members, for being uh, patient with us. So we are more going to move on uh, to our training. I'll start with a short presentation. <clears throat> like I said, I want to remind members that for those who are unable to join, let them know that we are streaming the same event on YouTube. So you can actually go to YouTube and follow all through that, what we are doing uh, right now. Um, <clears throat> okay. uh, once again, please make sure uh, you're, you're having your comments coming through uh, into the chat room. Yeah, good morning uh, once again. Um, in today's discussion, I want just to give you something very small as we prepare for our exams. It is very good that as you prepare for the exams, you make sure you have very good internet. And it is important that you double check your e-learning account before you log on to make sure that your password and your username are very much active and working. 
Um, <clears throat> also, it is important to note that you must carry on whatever you need for your exams. Set aside some time, set aside away from the rest of the other people in a quiet environment, double check your network settings or your network connectivity and make sure you can actually access your content. Um, just a moment. Okay. <clears throat> It is important that when you are out there, you also dress appropriately. Make sure that wherever you are, much as you're doing the exams online, you're in the exam environment, it is important that you take note of that. Now, one of the things that we are supposed to go through today is getting an email, university email. There are a number of uh, questions surrounding this that have come through, a number of uh, uh, comments that have come through but I just I'm just displaying a link for you such that you can actually go there try to register if you don't have an email address who qualifies for university email address all the students of Nkumba University do qualify for an email address for a number of reasons one for better communication to take place because we'll be knowing where you are and how to get to you through your university mails. Two, uh, to be able to provide a fallback position just in case of anything. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, three, uh, we intend to have uh, uh, a means of access to internet, and this only applies to those have access to a drone service. Now, as long as you have an drone service wherever you are, this email address and the link, a password and username provided to you will be of much more importance. So make sure you do get it. Now, the e-learning as, as it stands, many of you, uh, if you make to uh, take a, um, a look at the previously done exams, some of you had complaints and you came to rectify your issues. Whenever I would ask you to log into your emails and give us proof of having submitted your exams, you didn't have mails. And neither did we have the option, look for these details and be able to help you. So this email is helping us and helping you and me to make sure that our communication process, our details as a university are very well captured even when you lose your phones, as it happens to most of us, you don't need to open up a new email address. If you forget a password, you don't need to, for, to worry. Because it will be with us, we'll be able to actually take you through. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that you need to do, um, for those who want to get email address, please make sure you do get them. Now, a question comes in. How about those who already had e-learning accounts and they have email addresses? Now, for those who had e-learning accounts last semester or last year, your accounts are still active and you are running very well. Make sure you simply go and reset your passwords if you cannot access your account. Two, also make sure that you can uh, log into your e-learning account. And then three, when you get the university email address, then go to your profile, edit your profile, as I will show you, and include this new email address. Now, as you get this new email address, make sure you are able to sign in, to read and send mails from in there. For those who don't have accounts, it is mandatory that the system requires for you to have a university email. So make sure you register on the link I've just shared with you uh, for us to give you an email address. Who creates, who creates the email address? It is the IT team that are going through the registrations that you made over the weekend. And by the end of today, you'll have your email addresses within your registered emails or the known means of communication you provided onto the form. Make sure that you are a rightful student of Nkumba. And this is why one of the reasons why we said 
uh, we are going to have a university email. Um, <clears throat> I want to move to those who want to create accounts. Now, if you want to create an account, I think we have some people who are You log on to Nkumba University or e-learning at .nkumbainuniversity.sc.ug. You log on at Nkumba University, e learning .nkumba university .sc .ug. You go to new account. Now you'll note that I want to explain a number of things here. Let me just get to them. Uh, one of the things I want to explain is this. There is a student guide. This is what is supposed to take you through on the different steps you're supposed to use when you're opening up your account and using the e learning system. For those who don't have accounts, you move to new account and add a new account, enter what you want to use as a username, what you want to use as a password, and then you follow through the process. For easy of things, you may decide to use your student number as your username. Now our password, as we have been explaining all before, this password is a mix of capital letters, small letters, characters and so on so simply make sure that your password is eight characters minimum it has a capital letter somewhere it has a small letter somewhere it has a character somewhere and also it has a digit somewhere so once you're done entering all of those details click at create my new account now, depending on the email address that you have provided into when you're registering, the system is going to send you an email into your account. Make sure you log in, access that link, and verify your details. This will go a long way in helping you uh, to confirm your details, and once that is done, then you're good to go. <clears throat> now, the next item, once that is done, is for you to be able to log in and enroll for examinations. As opposed to what we had last semester, we looked at a number of queries coming through, looked at a number of uh, complaints coming through, and we felt we can make this a little bit more friendly, a little bit more user-friendly. Uh, user so as a result, the university has come up with a little bit better and clear way of accessing this exam. So make sure, one, you are logged in into that course unit. You're logged in into your e-learning account. So your username and password are very key, and that's why I mentioned this at the start of my presentation. So make sure you're able to log in, and as soon as you finish putting in your username and password, then click at the login button, which is, the, which is in this case, uh, this button here. Click at that button, and once you're done, then the system will actually log you in. So once you're logged in, in this form, the next item would be for you to go ahead and look for the examinations or for the questions that you want to enroll. Now I want to make a comment here, that previously we have been searching for our different course units, enroll them in and enroll ourselves into the course units, and that's why we've been getting the exams. It is a little bit different today. All of you are going to have one question called end of semester examinations. And it is for August 2020 and February 2021, which conti for continuing and freshers. That is the question that all of you are going to look for from the e-learning system. Now, once you get this system, uh, once you are able to log in, you search for that particular course unit, then you're going to enter into that course unit. If not, you're going to find this course unit already in your profile. So when you look at your profile, it should be able to display for you 
uh, your course unit. Um, just a moment. Now, access to uh, this particular course unit is not, uh, we shall not do self-enrollment. Because of the issue of payments, someone will have to enroll you into that course unit. You have taken the trouble to make sure that we enroll you into the course unit only if you've been able to clear your tuition, or if you have been cleared by accounts to be able to have your exams. So as a result, Account is compiling a list of all those who have uh, cleared and uh, once the list is done, it will be sent through. Once it is sent through, then we'll be able to, uh, uh, we'll be able to enroll you into the course unit. So I'm enrolling one student as we see, see it there. Okay, <clears throat> so we are back. So once you search for this particular course unit, then the next item would be for you to go ahead and review your exams. So the next slide or the next uh, activity I'm going to do is to practically go into this account and make sure we're able to see the end of semester exam. Okay. So this is our student um, that we are practicing with. So when you go to your profile, I'm refreshing her profile. You'll be able to find a new course unit called end of semester examinations. And uh, once you find this course unit available for you, then you'll be able to see your different schools that you belong to. We have School of Education, you have School of Business, School of Science, School of Social Sciences, and so on and so forth. And as you can see, we are almost ready, we are actually ready for you for these exams to take place. The exam is already there for you, waiting for you to attempt. So make sure you've cleared your tuition for you to be able to access uh, this content. I will move to your school that you belong to, and in all these exams, they will be having your lecturer, your lecturer's name. So if you've been studying uh, conflict management and resolution, your master's weekend, and your lecturer has been Dr. Abajo, the name will be against the specific course unit. Go in here, click at the course unit name, and once you click at the course unit name, you will be able to access the content of this particular exam. Okay. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> we are not yet done with the exam. If your weekend, if your day, if your evening or distance, and you're doing a course unit called computer applications, being taught by different lecturers, you're going to attempt the same exam on the same day. Now I need to caution you that at a point in time a system will open for you the exam. It will be available at a specific time of the exam and then you'll be able to end at a specific time of that same exam. So make sure you are able to access this exam and once you're able to access it go ahead and sorry go ahead and attempt the exam. So the next step that we are going to look at, we are going to see how do we access these exams. Um, <clears throat> let me 
yaşanı da dikiş. So you're going to try out one exam uh, for study purposes, and then uh, once that is done, you'll be able to see how to submit the exam back, and then uh, <clears throat> we have questions that will follow after after that. Okay. Uh, today is the fourteenth. We are going to try out this very exam that is uh, computer applications and we see how it looks like. I'm refreshing her screen for us to be able to move on. So the exam has a start date and a time. It has an end date and time. Now these are being uh, controlled by the system and simply make sure that you are within the time frame that has been provided for by the person who is in charge of that exam. I want to believe that we are following what is on screen. exam <clears throat>
Bwana Joseph. Uh, yes, or team. Yes. Uh, students are complaining they're not getting uh, any sound. What's happening? Okay, I, I'm just uh, uh, activating the exam for us to go through the practical bit. Okay, okay, please. Okay, um, so for example, uh, this is the exam that we are going to attempt. You go click at the exam name. You'll get the instructions on what you need to do. At the end of the instructions, you'll be having the exam itself. Um, you're going to attempt the exam. And after attempting the exam, you're going to submit your file at the end of uh, that exam period. So this exam, remember, it is an open book exam, which is, 24, which is 12 hours, depending on the instructions you have from the school. For some schools, you may find when you are supposed to have two papers a day. But for some, it will be a standard 12-hour exam, uh, uh, open book exam. Now, in such a scenario, <clears throat> In such a scenario, where you have um, two exams, then you need to work within your time. <clears throat> okay. So our exam. We are accessing it again. The instructions are always in three parts. The first set of instructions is for you how to access the exam. The second set is how you're going to um, name the exam uh, when you're submitting your exam. And the third step is when you're going to submit your exam, what you need to do. So at the end of the instructions, we have the exam, which is this. Below, we have the due date, and down we have the add submission section. So click at the file that you intend to attempt the exam with. The file is going to download on your computer. And once it is done downloading, attempt the exam once you're done attempting the exam, come back to the system, click at Add Submission, click at Add Submission, come to this section where you're supposed to upload your paper. Click the drop-down arrow or simply drag and drop your exam 
here we are on so <clears throat> pick your file wherever you saved it make sure you have a copy of this file saved somewhere so the system is picking the exam and uh, once done uh, processing we are going to pick a paper which is a sample exam that we have worked on and we submit it back to the system now as you submit back to the system there are two things you need to note one you have to make sure that you actually click at the exam name so assuming um, this is my answer answer sheet uh, script i've worked on i'll save it as uh, maybe my registration number 2019 august uh, b2243 as it's supposed to be then either day or evening all weekend all distance so depending on your profile you are on you can have your names the system will pick your names directly and then you say upload this file now what is happening is that the system is picking this file from your computer and he has placed it in a container this is not submission yet for you to confirm that you submitted you must click save changes and the moment you click save changes the system is going to send you a communication to confirm your submission that is one but in your profile you'll be able to see the following in terms of status you'll be able to see submitted for grading uh, you'll be able to know to see the type file you submitted plus the time and date now at this level you have uh, a window period for you to edit your work in case you have submitted a wrong exam edit submission edit submission and when you edit submission you'll be able to re-upload a new file just in the case you upload the wrong file if you're editing your submission click back into the file you had okay you can um, <clears throat> rename this but you can also have another file that you have drag and drop here and then you delete what you don't need so that you only remain with what you're supposed to have once you're done you click update and save changes once again so this is confirmation that you have actually submitted your work for marking and this is what we are going to look at now as you do all of this the system is taking is keeping track of whatever you have done and we able to know whether you submitted the exam or not we've had cases of students who come to the e-learning system they click at um they click at add submission put the file there but never click change save changes if you never click save changes you'll never be able to submit your file so that is in as far as an exam submission is concerned um <clears throat> okay uh for us here uh that is what we can say in about uh, for submitting and attend attempting these online exams please make sure that your account is working uh, you're able to log in your username and password are perfectly working well and then once that is done you'll be able to access your exams i'm going to request um we have uh, uh, some questions that have come through so i want to be able to start responding some of these questions uh one says send us the user manuals for this training so that you can practice on our own uh what i can uh, let you know even before i leave this information is available on online and it is as old as coming to two years since we posted it there when you go to youtube right now martha i'm responding to you you go to submitting exams or simply say
submit the exams on new area. We already have a video here that is supposed to take you through how to access on how to access your exam and submit your exam uh, from or within the e-learning system. So the steps are already there. It's not uh, happening today. We've done it a long time ago. Um, <clears throat> how do someone log into university email? Thank you. Now, if you want to log into university email, go and uh, pick your university mail. For example, you go to gmail.com. And under gmail.com, you make sure you have an option to put in your username uh, for the Gmail account. <clears throat> um, if your username is uh, jeruevuze at inkumbainvest.s.ug, you make sure you take the whole address that was given to you. Then click Next. As you click Next, you're going to type your password. Because you know your password. After typing your password, then <clears throat> you click next. The system is going to log you in your email address. So whatever you do will be within this mail and uh, you'll be able to access everything uh, the way you deserve to have it accessed. Um, <clears throat> where are the timetables? We don't have access to them. Now the timetables are being worked on. Uh, probably uh, Mr. Tim will say something about it. But the timetables are being worked on and uh, probably by the end of today, God willing, they will be shared with you. They are simply putting everything together such that you get one timetable giving you everything. Can the student petition now? Yes. For the student to be able to petition, it's very simple. Go to your student portal. I hope you know how to log into your student portal. <clears throat> Go to your student portal. I can demonstrate briefly. You don't need to call any of us. Go to your student portal, that's student.inkumainvest.us.ug. Put in your username as a student and also your password and then log in. Now, once you have finished logging in, go to get payment reference. Click get a payment reference. And once you do that, you'll be able to find several options which you can use to pay uh, your, your money. So one, you could be, I would like to deposit on my account. But let me pick another account that has a number of options we can pick from. Uh, let me pick um, some account here. Okay, this is perfect. So once you're able to, you have three options. One will be to pay the total amount that is pending. The other one will be, I want to pay part of my pending invoices. And the third one will be, I'd like to deposit my account. If you're not very sure of how much you need to pay, go to, I would like to deposit my, on my account. Then enter the amount you want to deposit. After entering that amount, go down to generate a reference and click at generate a reference. The system will go generate for you a reference with your names and the amount you must pay. This is what you go or take to the bank and make the payment. Please note that this reference is only valid for only two days. Okay. 
Um, I have been trying to access my account on Student Portal, but kept receiving a message. Okay, now whoever fails to log into your account, there are two reasons. One, either you forgot your password, or you have taken time without logging into your account. The best thing for you to do in the solution is go ahead and reset uh, your account. Those who don't have university mails but submitted, and as, as I said, by the end of today, we are going to have a list out. Just be on the lookout within your inboxes and your text messages. You'll be able to find uh, these emails coming to you. How do we submit the exam? PDF or Word file? Preferably should be PDF because that is easier to work with. And as the word says, portable document format. If you are unable to convert to PDF, please submit a Word document. But make sure you use the known Word processor. Um, there are some of us who use uh, WPS on phones. I would want to encourage you members that you don't use phones to submit your exams. If you can avoid, the better. The processing power of your phone will not be equal to the processing power of a computer. So it's better you use a laptop somewhere and then uh, you're able to submit your exams. Now I want to do some little bit of uh, Situation. For example, if the exam is 12 hours, sorry, if the exam is 12 hours, Okay, if the exam is straight off hours, I want us to do uh, a little bit of uh, planning. Access the power uh, paper at 7 a.m. in the morning. You can go to a cafe. In a cafe, it may take you about uh, 10 minutes. Uh, for you to have uh, the exam, you can print out the exam. Take some four hours writing your exam. Take two hours uh, to type or typeset your exam. If you don't know how to type, you can uh, request for the services of someone who knows how to type. They type for your work. Take another two hours to proofread. To proofread your work now as we speak right now those are about eight and uh, eight hours and ten minutes the paper is straight off hours you have more four hours to go so in the next four hours that's when you should plan to submit your work please note please note do not submit work at the last minute Avoid submitting work at the last minute. You will be disappointed. So always make sure that you submit your work within the time that has been allocated to you. Should you get a change during the course of the day when you're doing your exam, please make sure you communicate to the officers responsible. You can communicate to your dean, you can communicate to any of us who will be available and shall be there to give you the assistance and the help that you need. Um, <clears throat> what shall I say? I don't have my laptop, cannot access my Wi Fi, and I'm in a lockdown far in the village uh, without an internet cafe. Uh, my brother, who is this? Gertrude Athieno, I think you're in Imbale, if not Tororo. You've been bad from traveling from Mbale to Budaka, but from within Mbale, from uh, Nabumali, you can come to Mbale town, and coming to Mbale town is cheaper than coming to Kampala. I would suggest you get time, you move a little bit early, come to Mbale town if you're from Mbale. There are a number of cafes in Mbale. Mbale SS is also available, but it's, clo it's closed, there are cafes in Mbale. 
access your exam. You can sit around um, Naboa Road, do your exam, and submit your exam. Um, Diana, please, I didn't understand your question. If a student doesn't do exams online, is it as it's going to be now? Then schools will they be? I don't want to be a prophet of doom, but I don't find, I don't see anything like that happening for missed exams. Chisache, uh, is the exam supposed to be typed? Thank you. The exam is supposed to be typed, madam. Chisembo, you don't pick your call and neither do you respond to messages. Mr. Chisembo, your queries are being handled by the school, not the e-learning unit. I sent you a communication asking you to get in touch with your uh, administrative assistant. Please follow protocol and respond within the means you're given. Um, I'm, I'm out of Uganda, but I want to pay fees. Now, uh, Dominic Muzungu, there are two steps you need to go through. One, generate a reference, and then two, you can do a transfer. Uh, AR came out with a satula that was saturated to all our social platforms. Please access that satula. It has a finance number. They'll give you the IBN number and the SWIFT code and everything for you to make your transfer or your payments. I forgot my password for e-learning. How do I reset my password? Thank you. For you to be able to reset your password, um, Okay, for you to be able to reset your password, I can take you through. Go to elearning.inkumbainversalist.ug and on the elearning, there is an option that says forgot username or password. Now, the same mails we are asking you to access are the ones we want you to use when you're resetting your password. For those who have accounts already, you can use the email addresses that you registered with in the system. So on the e-learning system, as you go to login, there is an option that says forgot username or password. And once you're there, click at forgot username or password twice. The system is going to give you an option to reset your password. Um, okay, as the system responds, I can respond to some other Okay, the e-learning link is elearning.inkumbainuniversity.sc.ug. I've put uh, the same into the chat room. Okay, Mayo Christopher. Uh, your issues are being handled by the your school, and whoever filled in a results complaint form that came through here, we went through it and the school is reviewing, the lecturers will be able to give you your marks. Okay, the reset link is here. So when you go to sign in, you're unable to sign in because you forgot your username or password. Go to forgot username or password. Go to forgot username or password the second time. Search by your email address. That is your email address, and then click search. Now, once you click search, the system is going to send an email to that same in email that you, you put into the system. So you go, you log into your email. Come, I'm going to log into my email here. then share with you. Okay. So the moment you uh, you reset your password, ask for a password reset, the system is going to send you a link in your inbox. This link is only valid for 30 minutes. 
Within that link, there are instructions on to reset your password. Within that same email, click at the link. And once you click at that link, it will to give you an option to reset your password. Let's see how it comes through. Now, it gives you two things. One, it is able to remind you your username, but also it is able to remind you uh, either to give you an option to type your new password. Let's respond. Okay. So in here, okay, let me sign out, sorry. So you discover that is reminding me of my username, but I have the option to type my password here, password the same place, uh, second time down here, then you click save changes. Once this has been done, then your password has been reset. Do we use personal mail address as one we were given? Okay. <clears throat> For those who already have university email addresses, please use the university email addresses. Some of the exams we did last semester, that one I did, um, I did respond to that. Um, the YouTube link. Kanga or Joel, for me, I exceed payment my tuition by 100,000. Please get in touch with them, with uh, the accounts people. They will be able to respond to you. I cannot register my questions in the student portal. Uh, please get in touch with the IT team, especially Mr. Kalema and Kayongo. They will be able to help you with the student portal. Uh, those who filled the email ad, uh, for the form for the email address, as I say, some time back, that we shall be able to respond to you before close of business today with university mails. Um, <clears throat> okay. Now, what if I submit and don't receive a notification? That means your email address has a problem. It is for your safety that you have a correct email address. Even as you submit your details, make sure you submit the correct names as they were written with the academic registrar. Now, some of you gave funny names to the e-learning system, and I think I have a username called funny. Now, please go into your, into your profiles, edit your profiles to reflect who you are. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on Max. Some of you are complaining of Max simply because you put wrong names, and when you're doing exams, you give us wrong, uh, different names. So you are having trouble identifying who you are. So to save us the trouble, please use the correct names uh, as they were registered and how they appear on your paper. I know someone, now whenever you clear a, 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 a tuition, the same money, rather the same system is able to clear your account status. So make sure you've cleared or get in touch with accounts people. They are going to help you. Some of us who missed past, who are meant to write missed papers this semester, how do we, how do we go about it? Your papers must be registered first with the system. You must have paid money for those papers, if they are missed papers. Then, once that is done, you'll be able to access your papers. As I said, you must have a functional e-learning account. Uh, how are we going to answer those questions that need calculations? They are very easy to answer. You'll be guided with the instructions within uh, the exams once they have been approved. Uh, calculations, they have been done. Yes, marks are being processed. Creating exams in a timetable, please make sure you get in touch with your uh, administrative assistants and the HODs. We will sort this out. I have an account. I don't know what you mean, Thomas, at Ejeka. Can someone share a link from Kumba University email? Okay, it is. it has already been shared. Papers, please talk, go back to your schools and HODs. They know what to do. Now, I want to warn you members. We had a scenario last semester where students were picking exams from WhatsApp groups. Avoid picking exams from WhatsApp groups. Pick exams from the system and submit them back to the system. 
Now, the issue of sending exams to our emails is totally unacceptable. And if you send your exam to anyone's email address, believe me, you're going to lose out on marks. Make sure you're going to you submit your exams on the e-learning system. How are we going to submit our coursework? Roda, I think I mentioned that. Am I supposed to do my exam typing? Okay, I think I also responded to that. Okay, allow me, Wagala, uh, Isaac, please unmute and uh, tell us your, your query. Wagala? If Wagala is off, can we have... Um, can we have Sewan Kambo? Please unmute Sewan Kambo. Yes, please. Yeah, in case I enrolled uh, in the like, in case I enrolled the wrong question. So how do I get that question to put that in one? Okay, good. Um, if you're talking about exams and for the members, for members' consumption here, uh, enroll ourselves in, and that is end of semester exams. Don't look for any other course you need, only look for end of semester exams. That's what you're, you're going to have in your profile. That's what the exams are going to be. Mayo, please unmute and uh, put across your query. Mayo, are you there? Hello, good morning. Good morning, how are you, sir? Okay, Mayo seems to be engaged. Can we have Ivan Kwagala, please unmute? Ivan, please unmute and put your query. Ivan, can we have Naiga? Naiga, Ivan is not ready. Can we have Naiga? Can we have Naiga? Okay, uh, can we have uh, to hire a Frederick? To hire a Frederick, please unmute. Uh, good morning. Good morning, how are you, sir? Uh, we are okay. Now, my worry is, I'm just inquiring, can we access the results on our students' portal? For it in case, same Mr. one result will not access. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Fred, uh, your results are being uploaded for last semester and uh, We'll make sure they are available on your student portal because it has that option. We'll be able to see your results. Naiga, thank you, Fred. Uh, okay, on Dama. Daniel Odama. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Reeves. Uh, I have some other concerns here. Uh, yes, sir. What you, you said of you talked of uh, we are not going to enroll ourselves this time personally we are going to be enrolled by, mm. by, by, by the experts from that side so mm. how will i be sure that i'm being i'm being enrolled in the right courses i do and then uh, what will be the criteria for enrollment and then also there uh, last time when we did the exams online there were some challenges which we faced of uh, posting instructions for the exam without the document to download an answer. Yet, when you try to check the time for the deadline for submission, it keeps on counting. So you look for the document all around to download an answer. It is not there, but the instructions keep on indicating. Then also, the other thing is, um, let's, let's assume we are going to begin exams on, we are going to begin the exams on the 21st. The exams will begin on the 21st, but when 21st reaches, this, maybe if you unrestricted exam from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., the exam will still be indicating restricted 
but yet the time is counting. And then when you try to check, you may end up even getting a missed paper. So those are one of the challenges which we faced last time. So that is my concern. Uh, thank you, Odama. Allow me to respond. One, <clears throat> we have scaled up our game. I would not believe uh, that we shall have instructions without exams. That is, uh, we're sorry about that. And um, we've taken it seriously, and we are making a follow-up with that. Two, uh, the restrictions, the system will automatically open for you the exam, and it will automatically close for you the exam. I want to guarantee that is when, if the exam starts at 7, system will be always be opening the exam at 7, and it will be closing the exam at 9, at 7 p.m. So make sure you're within uh, that time. Now, the criteria for enrollment, there are one or two things. One, make sure you have an e-learning account. That is step number one. And step number two, make sure you have cleared your tuition. Make sure the account section has captured you as someone who has cleared to a person that has been given to you by the administration. If it is zero balance, make sure it is zero balance. If it is 80, make sure it is 80. If you require any extra uh, requests to be done or explanations to be done, make sure these are done before 21st. Because accounts is compiling a list of those who have cleared and they are the ones that will be able to give access to these exams. Without uh, your name appearing on the list from uh, accounts, the exam will not be there for you. Thank you. Uh, Shauk. Uh, I think we are done, Odama. Uh, Shauk Ibukomeko. Unmute. Hey, good, good morning, Mr. Joseph. And after you, we shall have uh, Hashim Musubaho. Yes, Mr. Joseph. I have three queries. Yes, sir. Hello? I have three queries. One, mm. you talked about um, you talked about departments that could be having two papers that are colliding in a day, but mm -hmm. you never specified that any space full of fires, they might be having two papers that are colliding in a day or school of business. So how am I sure that you've not made a mistake on a timetable having me do two papers in a day and then how am I sure that it should have been done the other day? That okay. is one. Mm -hmm. And then the other is, I on the illustrations you were giving here, you mm. gave an illustration compiling to computer applications as an example. Mm. But before we were told computer applications, economics, and then QM and fundamentals are practical papers that you are meant to do while we resume school physically. Mm. I need some more light on that. Mm. And then the other one is, are we, are we going to skip the exams and the course units that we've enrolled or what we have to go and then look for end of semester exams? Apart from, because last, last semester, we would go in the course units that we enrolled into and then find the exams there. But then okay. is there going to be something different this time around? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now I'm going to start with the last one. Now you realize that we have a number of students who have, uh, who have not paid tuition or who have paid tuition, but they want to be able to, who have not paid tuition, but they want to be able to access the system to get notes and everything. We don't want to deny, deny them access to the system. So what we are saying and what we are doing or suggesting is that we have an extra category called end of semester exams. All exams will be put in that category. So you simply have to make sure that you've cleared your tuition and only those who have cleared will be the ones to access that particular section of that question or category. So the lists will be the ones guiding us. So between now and the time we do the exams, simply make sure that you're cleared with accounts and you're ready to move on with the exams. Those who received uh, exam permits, you're very good and you're very safe because you've been cleared already and you'll be able to access the exams. Those who have not yet gotten any exam permit, then for you, you are at risk of missing out on these exams if 
only you do not go to accounts and clear yourselves. Then the issue of practical exams, which one is practical, which one is not practical. Personally, I do not think, uh, personally, if I am to set a computer applications paper, it must be done practically and must be done online. That is according to me. But I am not your lecturer. So the lecturer will decide whether you have the paper online or not. But if it is me setting it, and for those I will be setting for, they'll have theirs done online because it is computer, you're using computer, and I'm testing a concept. I'm not testing an answer. Thank you. Um, for the papers colliding, usually when you are in a semester system, we have what we call normal progress. And a normal progress, that means you have a minimum load of about six course units per semester. Now, in the event that you have seven course units, that, that is an abnormality. And that means that one of the reasons, there are several reasons that could have come at play for you to have more than six. So it is inevitable that you'll be able to find, it is inevitable that you'll find, uh, that you won't find papers colliding. It is now upon you to engage the lecturers and the school and or whoever is in charge of making the timetable to make sure that they can separate for you the papers. Now, what I meant having two papers a day, there are some schools I know that have said to have papers running for six hours as opposed to 12 hours. That means they have a paper in the morning from seven up to midday, then the other runs from midday, uh, which is one, up to around 1 a.m. Something like that. Rather up to around the 7, 8 there. So make sure that you follow the timetable that's been given by your school. Thank you. Uh, Hashim? Uh, my, my question, my concern is... Hashim, uh, Hashim uh, when you're done, uh, we shall have confidence. My concern is about... My concern is about uh, tuition. Yes. Uh, if at all I have not yet cleared my, my, if at all I have not yet cleared my tuition, and I'm to do my first paper say on 27th, if I clear on 24th, will I access the exams? That is one. Two. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I my my phone went off uh, because of data problem, so I, I did not attend the part where we can, how we can uh, uh, download, then upload the exam. Then I, I request that you, you, you send us the, the record of, the, of, of this meeting, sir. Then another thing is that how, can, how shall we know the corrections made on the same tables? Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Hashim. Uh, one of the things in terms of timetables, uh, once the corrections have been made, then we are, go we are going to share the final timetable. This timetable will be shared on all our platforms. We shall have a copy on the e-learning system. We shall have a copy on the website. And we shall have the copies being circulated in all your WhatsApp groups. And even your mails for those whose mails you have. So simply make sure that you, your lines of communication are very open. And... Um, uh, you're willing to receive. Two, for anything about finances and payments, please make sure you get in touch with the finance people. On the search that was sent out, there are numbers for finance. Call any of those numbers for assistance mm. to, to help you out. I'm going to share the same numbers on this, uh, on this, on this uh, meeting link, and uh, we'll make sure uh, that you have access to these numbers. In terms of uh, this recording, we shall have a recording shared at the end of this meeting. And as, as soon as you receive this recording, please share it with all your colleagues. We are also going to come up with a document detailing what you need to do uh, in a written form for you to access exams and submit exams online. So make sure you go through all this. Thank you. Yes, please. Can I mention something about the timetable because I wanted to go for a meeting? Yes, uh, Mr. Tim. Yes, I'm hearing students are raising a number of issues on the timetables. 
I was uh, for trying to follow the e-learning platform yesterday, and I've seen many of the timetables have already been up uploaded to the different uh, communication networks that the students are in. And many of them are trying to address their issues and the, the, the deans are working on that. And then please, the other issue on the timetable is that there are some subjects which have been identified to be more practical that are not going to be done. Some students are raising questions, where is this subject, where is this subject? But please, I request once you receive the timetable, read through it and go up to the footnote and check find of those details. The, the deans have explained why some subjects are not appearing on what? On the timetable. Don't rush, rush to ask the question when you have not gone through it properly. And then on the issue of tuition, uh, we are very much aware that by the time, by now, people would already be in papers if it was the normal what? Examinations. If somebody is still asking for uh, an excuse of some other time to, to be given a chance, I think that, that, that may not be uh, very simple now. We cannot try, we cannot do that because you are online. When you, when you, if you were around, you would actually write a document and request for that kind of a leeway. But for now, I don't think it's possible because you cannot write and try to approve or follow the other processes. So I request students to make sure by the end of this week, they should have finished to, uh, to clear their tuition as examinations will only be available as per the system for only those who are fully paid. Thank you so much. In case of any other issue, I'll request Joseph to handle. I'm moving out for some other meeting and I'm trying to follow up the issue of the timetables in other schools. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Tim. Yep. And uh, thank you, members. I think uh, confidence over to you now. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, I have around three issues to raise. Yeah, about the access to examinations, like in the School of Education, we got a problem of of delays in getting the permits. So most of us need to get the permits. If there is any people, like any group of people who got the permits, then there are very few. Some of us didn't get the, the, the permits, but we had completed the tuition, we had enrolled, and we had gone through all the processes. So I, I, I don't know whether we can also still access the examination simply because we have all, we have cleared our dues. The only thing that we couldn't get was the permit and it is because our school delayed us, though for us already to get the permits. Some had the chance to get them and they were very lucky too. So that is an issue I want to, I want to know whether we can also still access because we had gone through the processes of clearing, went to the BASA, cleared with the BASA, enrolled and so on. So the other thing is about the other papers we're going to do. Some of us are having mathematics papers. So I was inquiring, can we just write them on paper? Like write the, we answer the questions on paper, then we go and scan, we go and scan the papers so they can be brought to soft copy and then we upload them on the system. I don't know whether we can also do that one. Then another issue is about my, my email. I got the email and I updated it on, I updated it and replaced the other original one I'd put that one I use usually. I, up, I, I replaced it with the one I was given, which has Nkomba University.ac.ug. So I replaced it and I was, I was using a, a PC. So when you're using a PC, you can just go back to the email and then receive the confirmation and then update. But then I'm having an issue with the account. I like, I added the email account on my phone but I haven't received any message. I don't know whether I haven't uh, sent us any messages. Then it also doesn't give me the option of maybe like opening and then seeing. The only thing it gives me are just a few things, inbox type and so on, but I don't see any option of, get, of any hope of receiving a, a text there. I don't know whether it is an issue or it's just like that. We shall start receiving the messages when you, you, when the administration has started sending us messages. So those are the few queries I have, and I would like to be hoped. Thank you so much. Thank you, Confidence. Uh, one, thank you for the email update and everything. That's commendable. Two, uh, we haven't sent any other mail coming through, but uh, once we send, you'll be able to receive in your inbox. 
And then those who registered for email addresses, we are making email addresses in batches of 1,000. So as long as we get 1,000 students, then we can create those, we create those email addresses and then we communicate back to them. So the batches of 1,000, 1,000, that's what we'll be able to send out these emails. Then uh, the one of mathematics, uh, being able to scan and so on, mm -hmm. you need to discuss that with the dean, with your dean, dean of your school, probably they'll be able to guide much better. And then as uh, Mr. Tim said, who is the academic registrar, senior senior academic registrar, some of the papers have been earmarked for purely practical. Then uh, permits, uh, there are numbers, account numbers from accounts you can call to confirm your payment. As long as you have a zero balance on your portal, accounts will be able to pick your name and give it to us. Remember, mm -hmm. what they use for them to clear people and to know whether they have cleared or not, they'll go to the student portal. So make sure your student portal is reflecting that bit. Uh, can we have... Uh, can we have Gerard? Gerard, um, Gerard, please unmute as Businje Rita also unmutes. After Gerard, we shall have Businje. Okay, good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you, Gerard? I'm good. So, sir, Mike, I have a few concerns here. First of all, uh, when they are giving in the new email, Mm. The name, my name was miswritten whereby they used the single S instead of double S. I don't know whether it won't affect me. Uh, then another thing is about, I heard you talking about the Edrom service, which I don't, which I don't get clear. I didn't understand what you're meaning. Then the third one is you talk, uh, the, about our marks, because we did in last semester, we did our online exams and they were missed papers because we missed the, the, the usual when they are doing the papers, we didn't do them, and then we are called upon by the campus to do the, uh, to do them as missed papers, which we did, but we didn't get the marks. I've only got marks for two papers, and then about the permit, uh, I tried to enroll myself by the time I cleared my tuition, but whenever I could click in the course unit, the the course unit that I'm supposed to do this semester, uh, I could get a message like I'm not, I can't enroll the unit. I don't know whether it is because I came in Feb and I have this system whereby the same the exams which I was supposed to do, okay, I'm doing the question for second year, first semester, and me, I'm in second year, second semester. I don't know whether it is the problem which I'm facing because I try to enroll, but I'm failing. And I did it several times, and then maybe it is the system which is supposed to help me. Because I heard you talking about that, those who do not have permits are going to miss out uh, papers, and yet I, I wouldn't wish to to miss those papers. So I beg your help, sir. Thank you. Uh, I think the people who are coming next should do try to summarize their questions. One, in terms of student enrollment on the student portal, uh, as long as you cleared your tuition to zero balance, you shouldn't worry. Be able to access your exams because accounts will be able to pick your payments and they'll be able to advise us. Now, that abnormality in terms of uh, semester, when in semester two and you're doing semester one, is part of the reason why you are unable to enroll yourself into the questions you're supposed to be doing. But as of now, your worries should be very less that you'll be able to do the exams. You don't need to worry. Once we are done out of the lockdown, then we'll be able to, uh, to clear that. Uh, for those who are looking for numbers uh, from finance, we have Moses Opio, Patrick, and Mr. Zimbe. You can call them and make uh, your request. The numbers are being are, are being displayed uh, into uh, onto the Zoom account. Uh, Rita, after Rita, we shall have Musitwa, Joel. Over to you, Rita. I think Rita is not ready, Musitwa. After Musitwa, we shall have Asha Florence. Asha, Musitwa is not ready. 
Okay. Good morning, Joseph, and good morning, members. Good morning. Yeah, my question goes to, like, when I want to, I want to generate a code. Mm. Yeah, how will I know that you, I have all these balances which are not paid? I want to know that. And then uh, the second question is, I've enrolled to, to e-learning, but mm. all subjects are not there. I've enrolled for five subjects. One subject is not there in the, in the, in the, in the system. Mm. Now, what can I do? Yeah. Okay. And the third question is, mm. writing exam. There mm. are exams that are maybe involving calculations and figures. Is it, is it necessary for us to write in, a, in the exams in a paper and we upload and, the, and the send? Or mm. how will you advise us? Yeah, those okay. are the questions. Yes, Sorry. please. Thank you. Thank you, Florence. Now, to start with the last one about calculations and exams with the calculations, the senior academic registrar just made a comment and said, that when a timetable is out, look at the footnote, there are always instructions on what has been taken to be a practical paper and what has not been taken to be a practical paper. If you've been given calculations and they want you to do it uh, as an online paper, there will be instructions on what to do. Let's wait for the instructions to be there and once we get them, they will be able to, uh, to do them. The enrollment as we stand right now, I want to put your worries at rest and everyone who's worries who hasn't enrolled in any course yet. If you've been searching for a course from the e-learning system and you didn't get it, you should not worry. I want to repeat. If you've been searching for any particular course unit on the e-learning system and you didn't get it, you don't need to worry. Make sure you've cleared your tuition either to zero balance or to an acceptable uh, percentage. Your name will be able to will come through from accounts. And once that comes through in your My Courses section, you'll be able to find an extra course called End of Semester Examinations. That is where you're going to find all your papers that you're supposed to be doing every day. So for the time of the examination period, you're going to be accessing one course called End of Semester Exams. And that's where all exams will be posted for you to access. Now for you to know your balances, I want to repeat once again that make sure you have access, you call any of those numbers already on screen from the finance people. They will be able to help you uh, to access your balances so you're able to make payments. Smile, yeah, after smile, you shall have uh, a money ratio. Smile and mute. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, uh, I think someone called Confidence has asked all my, all my questions. I wanted something to do with the mathematics course unit, and I uh, wanted something. Uh, someone should help me with the timetable because most of them are colliding, like uh, computer math and computer architecture. So I think someone asked that already, and I think you guys will work on it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Smile. Wish you the best in your exams. Rachel, Thank you, after Rachel, shall have Kenneth in your Good Rachel, morning, Obati. Joseph. Good morning, yes. how are you? I'm fine, thank you. My mm. question is, uh, we need uh, more, more light on uh, the e-book, I mean, uh, I mean uh, the open book exams, because as freshers, we don't have any idea of what you people mean. We don't know whether, we are going to see the normal physical exams or there's something extra into that. Please, could you explain to us more? Ask the freshers, we have no idea. Thanks. Okay. Open book exam. Okay, I've taken notes. I'm going to see if I can get uh, something I can used to explain to you before we end. So can we have Kenneth as I look for what I, I must give to Rachel? All right, thank you and good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, for me, I just wanted to understand whether we are going to start our examination with the, the day or evening programs. Because for us, we're in the distance. We are not sure about the date for 
our online examinations. And uh, I don't know if somebody, maybe that question would be as answered by somebody from finance department, because as a distant student, uh, since the pandemic broke out, some of us have attended physical lectures for maybe once. And again, now this time we are for examinations. Are we still going to pay the same tuition? I mean, the same amount of money which we used to pay. Thank you. Thank you, Ken, um, for that. Now, <clears throat> in terms of payments, I think payments have not uh, changed yet. Still making the same payments as they were. In terms of uh, exam exam dates, all of us are starting our exams on 21st. And I think I stressed this, whether you are day or evening or weekend or distance, we are starting the exams on the same day. So that means on 21st, if there is a paper that you do that is going to be run on that same day, make sure you attempt that paper because it will be available. You're going to do the same exam. You say, for example, you're being taught diploma say as day, diploma say as evening, diploma say weekend, and diploma say distance. All those four groups will be able to do one exam, the same exam, standard exam, on the same day and at the same time. So make sure you are available for those exams that will take place. Um, uh, the other questions I forgot, apologies, you can raise it again. Ken? You can raise it again. Are you there? Okay. Can we move on to Stanley? And then we shall have my ball back afterwards. <coughs> My ball has no, okay, Stanley, over to you. After Stanley shall have techno power for. All right, thank you. Well, okay, the, about uh, the exam, the exam, the same. A moment, uh, Stanley. The same. Okay. Stanley, a moment. Uh, your network is not very good. Please uh, make sure you have a better network. Now, I want to request all those people who are logged in with the techno, 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 I am not going to give you a chance to speak because we don't know who you are. Put your rightful names and then we shall uh, give you an option to ask a question. So otherwise, after Stanley, we shall have um, Dominic Muzungu. Can you hear me now? Yes, can you hear me now? Not at oh, all. I was talking about the oh, yes. The network is bad. Dominic Muzungu, please put your question in the chat room, Stanley. Dominic Muzungu. After Dominic, we shall have Talisisio. Uh, Oh, okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Zizi, uh, for welcome, giving sir. me this opportunity. I, I had been asking some questions on the chat room, but I didn't really get the answers the, the, the way I felt it should have been uh, uh, received. My question is entirely on uh, TSON payment. Mm. Uh, the first one is how to get to the system because I, uh, my network went off a bit and then I missed out. 
that point how to get into the system to check your balance the way my sister said earlier, and then uh, to see uh, how much are you remaining with to, to pay. Then uh, be part of it closely is that uh, the practical payment of the fees for some of us who are not within the country, who are very far. So how shall we remit this payment? Especially maybe either someone has a fees balance or maybe uh, he needs to do a full uh, payment. Thank you. Over to you. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, my brother, Dominic. Now, for those who are out of the country, I've just given you the numbers from finance on screen, especially Mr. Zimbe's number, because he's the BASA. Speak to him. He's going to advise you on how you can do the remittance, either through uh, in any bank money transfer option that is available. Then in terms of uh, getting to know how much you need to pay, uh, Dominic, you have uh, a student number. The only you need to do is to access a student portal. Log into your student portal. There will be an invoice uh, for you to clear. And that invoice will clearly state how much you must pay to the university. That is what I can say for now. But uh, we can okay. continue with the engagement. Um, can continue yes, the yes, after this is done. Yes, please. Yeah, um, I still have a question related to what you have said, uh, getting to the student portal. I I remember going there, but now when you reach at the point where he said, uh, it says verify your contact, like either the email address or maybe your phone number, there it doesn't take me through because I'm a new student. It is my first time to register, and uh, I'm finding challenge when I reach at that point to go uh, beyond uh, the verification of the uh, of my details. Okay, I think I remember now. I remember your screenshot say, being sent to me. Um, please get yes, in touch, exactly. with me, and then I will be able to sort it out. I get back to uh, in touch with you after, right? after this meeting. Yes, please. Okay, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Musime? Yes, please. Uh, good morning, Mr. Joseph. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm all right, sir. I would do like, if uh, if I cleared with the account office, do I still need an examination permit? Second. Uh, you've told us uh, the exam starting on 20, 21st with a weekend or day or distance, but again, we have contradicting timetables, one for weekend and another one for day program. Do we have to, do we have to follow that one of weekend or we will find like you've, you've told us what we will follow and uh, maybe the subject will be showing whether it is starting on 21st, the paper will be showing whether 21st or there you need clarification, sir. Then lastly, is the account office open as of now? Thank you. Thank you. Starting with the last one. Yes, the account office is very open. The numbers there, simply give them a call. They'll be able to respond to you. Okay. Time table. Um, the information I was given and the information I have is that all oh, is supposed to happen on the same day. And uh, looking at what uh, ARA said, uh, that is following up on the timetable, probably let's wait for the end of today and see if all timetables have been uh, put together into one. You'll be able to know which paper is being done when and at what time. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, Businge, is there anything I, I didn't make, like, respond to? Masime, anything yes. I didn't respond to? You've, uh, you've answered me, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Oh, all right, sir. And we have uh, Wusinge. Wusinge, please. Uh, after Wusinge, we shall have to Musime Ronald. Now, as Wusinge comes in, 
someone has asked for a demo exam yes we are going to give you a demo exam and uh, once we are done you will keep practicing we are going to open it up for self-registration you get in you practice and see how to submit an exam and everything so once you're, co you're confident then you'll be able to move on to the next level come 21st so we shall give you a demo exam i think as we are working here we are creating it and we'll be able to give it to you before we end this meeting businge over to you businge Singer seems to not be ready. Can we have to Musime? Good morning, Mr. Joseph. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. I have two concerns. One is about the, the examination permit. Because you may find when someone has one, finished. One, sorry, one exam. is about? One, one is about, about the, the examination permits. Mm. Let's say, let's say that you've completed your tuition and the, your photo says that you've paid up to one hundred. Mm. Does it have any effect when you don't have the permit? That's no, one. Second, it doesn't. Let second, me respond to that before you leave. No, it doesn't have uh, any bad implication. As long as it indicates zero balance, you will be good to go. Mm. Yep. Okay. Secondly. As you're saying that the uh, exams are most likely to be put whether day, weekend, evening, are most likely to be combined and done at the same time. How are weekend students going to make it for those that cannot ha have access to the photos and uh, have time to do exams during that time and uh, in the middle of the week? Thank you. Uh, Thank can you. I respond, sir? Now, during normal yes. circumstances, when you are doing examinations, you ask leave for you to come and do exams. That means you're taking off time to go and concentrate on exams. I don't see if, you, if you're still working, you don't find a reason to get, do the same. Depending on the days, you'll be able to do the exams and attempt these exams. Two, the same exam will be available from morning to evening. So, that you are able to access. But uh, we can discuss further than that uh, even after this meeting. You can have further engagement. All right, sir. All right, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, do you have any other? Samuel, please unmute your microphone. After Samuel, we shall have uh, Alinde. Yes, thank you, Mr. Joseph. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, okay, dear. Now, I have two concerns. Uh, the first concern is about uh, the first year, first year, first semester, uh, long distance. Now, as uh, we came for it uh, last time, we only had uh, one course, uh, one week of uh, first phase uh, session. Now, in that very time, we did have a brief of how to answer questions, most especially the exams. And uh, we had thought that uh, if we had maybe to go back, because we, we had promised, we were promised that we would have one week before exams maybe to do revision. It was in that one week before we would get, uh, uh, would get knowledge of how to answer the questions. Like that. Excuse me, sir. There's a lot of feedback, so we can't hear anything. Now, hello? hello? There's a lot of feedback. We can't hear anything, sir. Yeah, I'm saying. Mm. Are you getting me now, sir? Yes, we are. Better. <laughs> Uh, what do you do, that, uh, Mr. Samuel? 
Mr. Samuel. Mr. Samuel. Please work on your background first, then we can have you afterwards. Alinde, Jolly. Mr. Samuel is working on his background. There was a lot of noise coming through. I was asking. I'm asking. Hello? Please go ahead. I missed from the beginning, I missed some information. How will I get it? We are going to share this recording. Okay. And, uh, make sure you, you access the recording. When you get it, you can go through it again. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, can we have another person? Mr. Samuel, I, I don't believe your background is now better. Samuel, if your background is better, you can please raise your comment. Tumukunde Norman. Tumukunde Norman. Mr. Joseph. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you can get me now. Much better. Now, my issue is about yeah. My issue is about first year, first semester distance. Now, we have not had chance to be taken through on how to answer exams. The fact that uh, we thought we'd have a one week before exams, it, uh, they would take us through and we know how to answer exams. Now, now online, how do we handle that? Because only speaking, questions <laughs> And that's what is affecting the upper. The upper. Is that all? No. 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 Samuel, uh, I want to suggest center you from. Which center are you from? Yes. Mr. Samuel, which center are you from? From Okonde Norman? So, Mr. Samuel, as a, as a way of trying to get in touch, I wanted to find out where, where you come from. And probably I would be able to better advise on how we can move forward. At least I, I moved to some centers and I was able to take people through on what they need to do. But uh, we also can get in touch after this call, after this meeting, then see how we can move further. Tumukunde, shall I have my own? Then, 
If you are supposed to, because you inhale those particles. Mm. So, yeah. If you are supposed to, because you inhale those particles. Mm. So, yeah. If you are supposed to, because you inhale those particles. Because I have been seeing someone come by the chain on the street. Immediately. Let me look out for the person where the noise is coming from. I'm sorry, members. I don't know why it's coming from. And they die. And they die. 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 So now when you inhale, you know, being the catching uh, the dust on the street, where you have no idea. Now you first pack, you are explaining the system with a lot of dust. Are you with me? Because you are supposed to wash after washing iron. Okay, I think we are good to go. Uh, we can proceed. Tumukunde uh, Noman. Tumukunde. Katusime. Um, Bruno, Boboya, Andrew. Yes, good morning, Joseph. I have good one question. Yes, sir. I have one question in regards to the student portal. Mm. In the student portal, uh, my information is reading, I am in year one, semester two. Mm -hmm. The worrying part is I'm registered. Yet I am in year one, semester one. Initially, I raised this concern to finance because uh, uh, the system created an invoice to me. They have mm -hmm. managed to delete, they have managed to delete the invoice mm -hmm. and only leaving uh, what I am supposed to have, which is for year one, semester one. Mm. So my worry is, will I not be affected during exam or will exam uh, access not be denied to me because it is like I'm in year one, semester two and probably haven't paid any single coin. Secondly, uh, to get uh, to get this exam permit, which uh, many have been talking about, is proving to become not possible to many of us. Because some of the courses which are there, the system automatically put them. Yet a few them are not part of the course we take. So, what can be done to remove what? We are? Last session and add in what we have supposed to. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my brother. The summer why I missed a point, but uh, anything to do with uh, your student portal, we shall have it cleared and you'll be able to display zero balance. Uh, for further assistance, we have the numbers of accounts. You can engage them again, but you can also keep us in the loop and we'll be able to follow up to its logical conclusion. Um, what was the other question? Remind, remind me. Andrew? Yes. The second question is about the course units that the system automatically put into our profile. Okay, fine. That is okay. It's okay. That's not now. It's not now. Uh, I want to remind members. But where we are, we shouldn't worry so much. We are going to access exams. And once we access these exams, the only thing we need to have is the e-learning account. We shall clear with the student portal later on. 
but currently as long as you have an e-learning account you should be good to go just make sure that it is up and running and then we'll be able to see what to do for you now in the event that you you're, you're inquiring as to whether you'll be able to see uh, or to clear or you to sit for an exam without uh, an e-learning account um, I want to I want to check out something here now whenever you submit your work your exam we will be able to tell that you submitted an exam I'm just going to give you a sample there's a coursework that was given okay and there are 32 people who are enrolled into that course unit only five have submitted so far okay now when we go to see we'll be able to see whether you submitted a file or not and these are the people who are enrolled but they haven't yet submitted and the only a few people have submitted i want to give you an example of eliab kugonza eliab kugonza did submit his work let's say this is the work he submitted okay and submitted on monday so whether you have an exam permit or not the system is going to capture the submission you made when you submitted it and the time you submitted it and i think you can say check all of these okay and what you see down here for example this is night karali nora this is her file that she submitted now <clears throat> it is my work to go ahead and view all of these and check whatever i need to pick out but for us to still further confirm that you've submitted your work or you've done something, we'll go to the logs to check your activities with the system. So as long as we find something like this, a submission has been submitted. If you only click at add submission and you don't click save changes, you shall only see submission created, file has been uploaded, but it has not been submitted. The submission only happens if you click the save changes. So make sure that your e-learning account is functional and running. You're able to log in. And when it comes to submitting your exam, you look for end of semester exams, and then you'll be able to pick this exam. That is one. Two, um, in response to um, some, some of you were asking, that can we have uh, a sample course unit? Yes. Uh, we've been able to uh, get a sample course unit. I'm just going to display to you how to get it. Um, if you go to is it this? No. Okay, so we have this, uh, we can call it end sample, it's called sample end of semester exams. It has been opened up for self-enrollment, go and enroll yourself into that course unit. We are going to put a sample exam and then say enroll me, we are going to put sample exams for you to try out. And at your own time, you can keep trying out to familiarize yourself with the process of submitting an exam online. So feel free, go and enroll yourself into that course unit. It's available for you for self-enrollment. Then uh, for my sister, Rachel, an open book exam is where you go to the examination room with all your reading content. Because it is open book, you're free to consult. You're free to consult, I repeat, your notes and everything. But as you consult your notes, avoid the following. One, avoid copy and paste. The system has been enhanced in such a way that we'll be able to pick for you to pick out those people who did copy and paste from each other. So the anti-plagiarism software is actually working and it will be there uh, to catch you off guard. Please don't blame me if by the end of the semester next semester you don't have results because of 
copy and pasting. If you've been able to pick content from the internet, please cite the source because it is not your work. If you don't cite the source and you make it appear like it is your work, you do it at your own risk. If you decide to sit together as a group and start doing numbers together, you're running at a risk. You're running at a risk. Your exam is likely to be revoked, and that will total amount for an exam malpractice that will be dealt with with the university, university rules and regulations uh, concerning exams and the Senate. Um, the same exam, Rachel, um, it requires you to apply a concept, but not to reproduce what you are given was given to you in class. So make sure you always apply a concept. Can we have uh, something from C. Woro? And after that, we shall have from Emma. Those who are asking for new for e-learning uh, rather university emails, please make sure you've registered with a form that we sent out. We are giving out uh, numbers, rather we are giving email addresses in a batches of 1,000. As long as we get 1,000 students, then we are going to create the emails and send them to you. And that's how we are going to keep uh, letting you know. Uh, see Oro? Yes, yes. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, sir. Yeah, uh, thank you for letting me in. Um, I have a few questions, as some of my colleagues have already asked. Uh, my major issue is on enrolling for the email and the in-learning account. Uh, from the account of some of those who have already enrolled, I think there's a lot of difficulties in assessing the e-learning. And I had uh, people looking up filling the form for email. Now, with this lockdown, some of us who are still new, we don't have uh, access to those forms. How do we access those forms and fill uh, to get the email address? Then also, is it possible to get to the campus for some of us who are within Kampala that we can go and maybe complete the process of maybe registration and so forth to enroll into the system, given the time frame that uh, it's very short exam is beginning in one week time, and some of us are still new, have never gone through this system before. I think these are Thank the you. few. Thank you. I have shared the uh, link for the form for emails. Please make sure you feel that you have not yet failed it. And that is true. Accessing the university may be a little bit hard, but you can engage us on phone, WhatsApp, and everything. We are very much available. I think those who have engaged me will be able to testify and my colleagues here. Um, feel free to get in touch in inbox and I will be able to sort out your other issues. Emma, the microphone is yours. Yes, thank you, Mr. Joseph. Now, my question is, you are talking about the email. Are you getting me? Yes, I am. You are talking about the emails, but then you are not talking about the index numbers. Because now when we are dealing with results, we deal with index numbers. I don't know how you will be. And I didn't hear anywhere when you are submitting where index numbers are. So how are we going to do it? How will you know that this is Emmanuel and his index number is this one? Thank you, Emma. I think uh, that time you are either off or you are a little bit absent-minded. Uh, when you're submitting your assignment, your exam, back to the system, before you upload your assignment, you're supposed to, there is an instruction on what you need to do. You're supposed to add your index number next to your exam. And that is what is going to be taken, that's what is going to be considered. But it is also be able to, you should be able to rhyme with the details you have on the system. The other thing is I already have an index account. account. But giving us an index number, when you registered yourself as funny, those are two different people. So make sure your accounts are reading who you are. And as you submit your exam, make sure you save it with your index number. Please and please and please read the instructions as they are being given before the exam, before attempting the exam, because everything is actually there.
Okay. Um, who else is there? Nasiwa. Then you can have Ade, Simon. Okay. Thank you, Joseph. One, you talked about those to register to get the university email, but I don't know how to register and where to get a form to register. That's one. Two, when we were having lectures, we used online lectures. And we have a question called Development Administration and Management by Mr. Bosa Suleiman. Mm. Whereby was, the system had made some accessing it. So you created another course unit having a name of Development Administration and Planning. So my concern is, which one should I enroll for now? Because the one I'm supposed to do is development administration and management. During the online lectures we had with Bosa, we were using development administration and planning. Which one should I take now? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Nasua. Um, I want to be very simple in, the, in my response. I don't know if you listen to me, I said it. But if you've been able to enroll yourself or not in any course unit, you don't need to worry. During the examination period, look out for only one course unit called end of semester exams. That is where you're going to find everything that you need. All the questions that you need will be found under end of semester examinations. Unfortunately, you don't have the right to enroll yourself in there. Enrollment into that course unit or, or category is as a result of satisfaction, satisfactorily having appearing on the list of finance. So all you need to do is one, clear your tuition, make sure you have zero balance. Once that is done, wait on 21st. You'll find a course unit called end of semester examinations. Enter into that course unit, you'll find your exam waiting for you at 9 a.m. in the morning. Thank you very much. Ade Simon. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Thank you for the chance. Um, I'm going to talk about the, the timetable itself. Uh, you know, there are some missing questions that are not on the timetable, uh, mostly like on my side. Okay. When, when I hear what people are saying right now on the meeting, saying you're going to rectify the issue of the missing uh, exams or the missing question needs. But my question is, why is it that always, whenever the timetable is coming, uh, the administration itself fail to, to put other, some of the question needs? One, because it's not my first time to sit on the online exams. We did last time the online, but the same scenarios happen this time again. And you find out that it is a struggle for us, like for us, we're out of the out of Uganda, we're locked this side. Communication becomes a big challenge. Sometimes you make a call, no one can turn it up, can 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 can, can shut you out. And then at least, and as also Mr. Otim was saying, there are some questions that are supposed to be done physically. At least they should also appear on the on the timetable and being labeled that this is a done practically and the one online can be mentioned that online so that we concentrate on one that we know it's going to be online. Uh, the second thing is about the the registration on the link. Oh, uh, the second thing is about the registration on the on the on the on the Noela. Okay, for us who are already having accounts running uh, since last year, do we need also to fill that form? But what should we do? Because at first on the on the flat for that WhatsApp platform, I was seeing something like you need to update your account through the Noela. Okay. Now Simon. And the other yes. Uh, can, because there are very many have end up forgetting. One. Okay. Mm. If you have an account that you had last semester for exams, that account is valid and working, it's excellent. You need to have a university email address. Once you fill that form, you get that email address and update your profile, as you said. For those who never had the accounts, are using they are using the university email they are receiving now or yesterday. 
to be able to open up their e-learning accounts. So if you have an account already, you're simply going to update. If you don't have an account, you're going to open up a new account using the university email address. That is one. Two. Okay. Mr. Tim said that for courses we have been termed as practical, at the end of the uh, at the end of your timetable, there is a footnote. That footnote indicates which exams have been dubbed or have been mentioned to be uh, attempted practically on ground. What was the third one? Remind me. Uh, the third one I'm going to ask you about the course coursework. Uh, the courseworks. How are you people going to help us since we are already clocking the exams time and we have not submitted and we are not being given that link to submit the courseworks online? Okay, good. Uh, the lecturers are going to set up the coursework links for submission in their profiles, and once that is done, then you'll be able to access the courseworks. You'll be able to submit and you'll be able to access it and mark you. Then for enrollments, I want to repeat members. And the enrollment, I want to repeat members <clears throat> that when we are accessing exams, the only question you're going to find there is called I want to take off this gentleman who has shared his screen with us. Okay. The only question you're going to find and enroll yourself in is called end of semester exams. Whether you have uh, whether you have enrolled yourself in any other course units you're supposed to be doing. But for this very one, for the end of semester exams, make sure you only look out for one question called end of semester exams. You only have that question if you've cleared tuition. If you don't clear tuition, you may not be able to have that course unit. Thank you. Simon, is that all? Uh, I have uh, uh, another question also. Concerning the exams that we did before, mm. the other exams we did before, how are we going to? access our results as we are already on lockdown and they remember some of us are already in our final year so sure you know how you perform and you know how you can fix your time yourself to catch up with the that is very true when you finalize it that is very true we're actually working around the clock to have the results out um there are some lecturers who hadn't yet picked the exams for marking they are already finishing up with their marking and once this is done uh, with the complaints that are coming through once this is done, then uh, this is going to be sorted out. So we hope before we finish the exams, we shall have the results up and running in our portals. And also the next, the exams we are doing, we shall have the results coming out as early as possible. Okay, then can we, can we, can we people really give us also a link or a form that we can fill for a missing course units which are not appearing on the order so that we can be shorted together because I'm seeing it is like a common thing that always I'm facing like for myself I'm facing. I want to repeat yes. this whether you have enrolled yourself in any course unit or not for purposes of doing exams you forget that on the 21st of June 2021 look out for only one question called end of semester examinations that is where you're going to find all your exam papers not in your other courses that you're talking about so whoever is talking of enrollment i want to mention it again on 21st of june you're going to find only one question called end of semester exams that is where you're going to find all your examination papers posted each exam paper will come with the lecturer who teaches that paper. If you have three papers being taught by different lecturers, same paper by this, you will have the same paper appear there with all their names also available for you to know that so and so teaches you. Now, those of you who cleared tuition, and you did get uh, clearance for examination, make sure the numbers for finance are on screen. Reach out to the finance people, they'll be able to help you. Patricia? Thank you, Simon. Let's, okay, let's, keep you. Let's keep engaging. Okay, please. Thank you. Thank you.
Patricia, please unmute. Seka William, Businje Rita. Seka, and Franka Kamuntu. Hello. Yes, please. After uh, that, yes, good morning. Uh, good morning, Mr. Joseph. Good morning, how are you? Uh, okay, my concern here, I would love to know, because I'm a first year student, first semester, I've joined a little bit late. But I would love to know the uh, for the university mail network is very bad, uh, William. But for the university mail, I've just sent a link. You didn't get a link. Just that link, and I'll be able to send you your email. Um. About enrollment, yes. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Uh, thank. Odongo, over to you. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Joseph. I'm um, having a few questions that uh, I would like to ask. Uh, the first thing is, uh, how are we going to access the Wi-Fi during this uh, examination? Your voice is you're too far. You're too far from your microphone. Please come closer. Uh, I want to inquire. I want to ask a question concerning the Wi-Fi. During this examination we are going to do, they said that we would access Wi-Fi. How are we going to access the Wi-Fi? Then another question. Uh, I would like to know about. Uh, I want. I want you to inform me about the university email. How how is it going to be very important to us during this time of exams? Because I was told that the university email is connected to the e-learning account. So I don't know how it is connected. Uh, kindly um, uh, inform me about that. Uh, then another thing I would like to know from you is: uh, Are we going to use the same method we had been using previously? to submit our exams because by that time we could just go to the to the course unit we are doing download the question from there do it then submit it using that, that very place so this time around are we still going to use the same method or they have changed the way we are going to submit to the exams thank you okay uh, thank you thank you um, bruno i want to repeat for the 10th time maybe. That for all our exams, we can use one course unit. Someone has feedback from their end. So, <clears throat> we shall only be able to find one exam. There are 265 people on board. I want to suggest that no one asks the same question again. Okay? We are going to access one question called end of semester exams. And that is what we are going to do. Forget all the other questions. Two, uh, if you are anywhere near any university, anywhere near any higher institution of learning, or even in Kampala and some districts across the country, you will find a hotspot like my UG called Edrom. When you find that hotspot, please enter the details they gave you from the university. Those details will be able to connect you to internet, and that internet will be paid for by the university. You're trying to make sure that we, we lessen the burden of data on, from you, since things are not very easy during this lockdown. The other bit that you asked, I forgot, but I think I've been uh, I've been exp I've been mentioning it every now and then. Uh, can I have Mike Boyo? 
Bayo, please raise your concern. Yes, thank you, Mr. Joseph and your team. Hello? Hello, please go ahead. Uh, my concern here, and on behalf of my fellow students in Kampala, we've found that uh, this meeting has limited us to join since it is uh, only taking 300 members. Mm -hmm. So, uh, request like, uh, tomorrow or the other day, like, even other, to other members who can apply to those who are affiliated to Nkumba to, to be able to access such information. Michael, I want to uh, I want to uh, put your fears to rest. Yeah. Is that whatever we are discussing now is being aired on YouTube? Is being aired on YouTube as instant as we do it now. So those who are unable to join us on Zoom can actually find us on YouTube, and everything is there. On YouTube, yeah. there is even that will be there after this meeting people can go back and replay the meeting and be able to go through whatever we have got right. thank you very much sir. thank you very much sir. thank you Hello. 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 Babu, Hello. Yes. Okay. Uh, good morning, Joseph. Good morning, good morning everyone. everyone. Fine, thank you. Um, yeah, thanks uh, for inviting this uh, training and this meeting uh, regarding our next exam. So uh, my question is regarding the coursework. So uh, are you guys going to create another page uh, for us also to upload oh, our coursework? Because, uh, I know after doing the exams and maybe things may also change. So I want to know how we're going to submit our coursework. Okay, thank you. The lecturers will be giving you the links for you to submit coursework. Don't worry. Yeah. The lecturers will be able to get to you. Not at all. Yeah. Sorry, people have uploaded so many. Like even me, I tried using the phone. It was not doing. I tried using the computer at City Mart Limited. That means the number they intended was enough. Now, unless if somebody also sign out, that's when they can allow you enter. Yeah, that's why I think it was behaving like that calling me. Yeah, participants pray around five hundred. Mm. Now, whoever it is, someone is on the phone. I don't know who that person is. Patricia. 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 Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you now? The message you've been relaying is the wrong message, okay? Mm. We told you that those who are unable to join us here would join us from YouTube. Okay. Uh, but you've been relaying a very wrong message to whoever you were speaking to on phone. That is very not very good. Okay. Please call the person back and give him the right info. Okay, thank you, sir. Appeal. We have appeal. We have Babu. We have uh, Alinda and Lemmy Moses now. Appeal microphone is yours. <clears throat> Mr. Bikango, please, you need to cross check. You need to cross check that. Please cross check with your dean with a comment you put in the chat room. Yes, uh, Apio. Apio seems to be not ready. Can we have Robert Babu? Can we have Lemmy Moses? Lemmy? Let me Moses. Moses Yes, hello. Yes, please. Good morning. Morning, how are you? Fine. 
Uh, mm -hmm. My concern is I am able to access my account through my computer. Mm. Where I, I saved even I saved the username and the password. Mm. But now when I go to my phone, mm. <laughs> I fail to access. So my password is in hidden. How can I see that password so that I can also copy it in my computer in my phone to open it? My brother, you must have the password in the head, not saved on the computer. Because yes, when you I, the one I the one I have, I am putting it, but it's not opening in my phone. That means it is wrong. It is giving you the right password because you saved it there. So you need to, I, there is a way, of course, you can do it, but you don't know. So the only other big uh, easy option for you is to reset your password and you put a new password that you will be able to remember that you can either put on your phone or even on your computer. Rachel Kalembe. Oh. But we can keep engaging and then we'll take you through. About, sure? I, want, I want to know about tuition. Eh? Okay. I want to ask. Yes, you say only people who have complete tuition can access the exam through the e-learning. What mm. about if I'm a student, I mm. have spoken to the buzzer or to the Department of Account and they have mm. given me a letter to go ahead to do exam to complete my tuition later. In case yes, I can remind them. them. You remind them also to put you on the list they will be giving to us. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Rachel, microphone is yours, Rachel. Thank you. Moses. Rachel, over to you. After Rachel, okay. we shall have uh, Tony, Tommy and uh, Tumukunde Norman in that order. Rachel, over to you. Rachel seems not to be ready. Tommy, go ahead. Yes, uh, good morning, uh, Joseph and team. Good morning. Yes, um, uh, my query is, is just about uh, regist registration for, for university email account. Mm. I know you have uh, talked a lot about it, but allow me also to put in my personal concern. Yes, sir. Um, I had previously I had an account that I had created using my personal email, but mm. as they talk now, that account is no longer accessible. Mm. And uh, I, uh, I've gotten that uh, Google form. What's um, your name? As you talk, be, uh, that I filled. Tom, Tommy. What's your name? Sorry. Tom, Tommy or Corey? Okay. Tommy. T O M M Y. Mm. Okori is O K O R I. Mm. So I filled that form so far two times, but I'm not getting a response. I tried reaching out to you yesterday, but being a, a weekend, I think uh, it was hard to find you. Mm. So I'm wondering when I'll uh, have this email address uh, created for me. Because uh, my worry is if you are waiting for a batch of a thousand students, uh, mm -hmm. Then you send the, the email in batches, as you said earlier. I think uh, it's going to really hold us back for, for quite some time until you reach the thousand numbers uh, you need. So I would request that if this can be worked on as fast as possible so that it gives us time to um, get acquainted with the system. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Just a moment. Thank you, Tommy. <clears throat> Uh, that one, I want to assure you that we are very efficient and you will be able to deliver because we want it to happen and we want you to be sorted out. Two, yeah. the account you, you called it Tommy or Corey, right? Something on yeah. screen. For you. That's the one. That is yours. Yeah. The system says the last login was 49 days ago. So I want to believe that you have your username and password, right? Yes, I do have. Good. So when you get the new email address, Simply go to your profile and edit your profile. Probably this is what you need to do. You click at your name, go to profile, and under profile, you go to edit profile. You move down to where there is an email address, your old one. Replace your old email address with a new email address of Mkumba University. Once you're done doing that, go down here and say update profile. Okay. You have done the profile update. Oh, okay, okay, that's well noted. Thank you. Yeah, secondly, um, someone raised this con uh, same concern for results. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, on the student portal, we there are an, a number of uh, services that we are, that we should be able to get, and one mm. of them is uh, the results for the results. exams that we have already done. Mm. Sorry, there's an helicopter passing by. Mm. So, um, mm. I'm now finishing my 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 second year. Mm. Uh, I'm doing masters, but mm. I've not even had a single result of mine posted on my student portal. And mm. yet, invoices, mm. requirement that the university needs is always mm. there on time. And we mm. go by that and get updated. But when it comes to getting the results, um, <laughs> that part is not uh, being availed to us. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you for hitting us right in the back. <laughs> Thank and... you. <laughs> You really hit us very well. But um, what I want to let you know, mm. that uh, and members present, that we accept such um, an anomaly, it shouldn't be existing. And as uh, as a university, or as people in charge, those who are in charge, they are working around the clock to make sure that that functionality is active and it is working. I want to I want to give you some assurance that by the time we report back for next semester. You'll be able to have gotten some of your results from the same portal. We pray that all goes well. The Muslims will say, Inshallah, but we pray that all goes well, and if all goes well, that will be achieved. Apologies, apologies, and apologies once again. Thank you so much, Mr. Joseph, for your, um, that clarification we received. Thank you. Norman? And all my. Those are my concerns on. Thank you, thank you. Norman, then Douglas and the uh, Jim Reeves. In that order. Good morning, sir. Morning, how are you? This is Norman. Yes. This is Mkunde Norman. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all about cultural papers and the practical papers. Because one student from School of Education talked about uh, culture papers, and then for me, I'm from SBA, School of SBA. So I'm asking, uh, why can't you at least update us with the subjects that we are that are going that are not going to be done? At least we get to know, and then we don't concentrate on them. We concentrate on those theory papers that we are supposed to be that are supposed to be done. Okay? Thank you, Norman. Now, unless you choose to close your ears when I was responding to her. But in my response to one in Timothy's rest, um, or Timo's response, Mr. Tim, he said, read the timetable. At the bottom of that timetable, at the it has a footnote. In the footnote, there are those course units that will not be. There is a question that you will not be able. Sorry, let me repeat. That at the end of the timetable, there is a footnote. In that footnote, it indicates which course units have been earmarked as practical course units. So if you look through them and you discover that the ones you're looking for are among the ones that have been listed there, then you put them aside and proceed with the ones you're going to do. Now, um, <clears throat> I want someone who has received an email address from the university, I want to display to you what you need to do when you're updating your profile. Can I get one? Just put in the chat room or raise up your hand. Put in the chat room, then we'll be able to edit it for you here. Thank you, Tumokonde. Can we have Barasa? Barasa Douglas? Barasa Douglas, then Jim Leaves, and the yes, yes. yes, good morning, Mr. Joseph. Uh, I have a question. Actually, I have two questions. One was about is about tuition. Mm. Assuming I've paid seventy percent of the tuition, mm. and I'm hoping to finish the thirty in the mm. due course of the exams, mm. uh, will I be allowed to sit for exams? Secondly, Before assuming you I enter, I, I reach the Before exam time. Douglas, Douglas. Yes. yes, you may be allowed. Yes, and no. So you need to get in touch with the finance. They'll be, give, be able to give you feedback. 
Another question? Another question is, mm. uh, I've entered into exams, whatever. Maybe I've reached the door of exams. Mm. And assuming I'm having two papers at the, on that day, mm. as you said, one might, we might start doing that paper from seven to around midday. Mm. Then due to network problem, then I get I get some disturbance due to mm. network problem. Then I reach at around maybe 10 when I haven't even started my exams. Mm. Will it, that paper be considered as misty paper or they are, I will have chance to, to do that paper again? Okay, my, exam, as, my phone number is always available 24-7 during exams. Yes. Even at midnight, people call me and I give them the assistant, mm. the assistance they need. So okay. when you have challenges, feel free. But they must okay, be genuine sir. anyway. Okay, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Kim Leaves. Okay. Thank you, Joseph. And morning, everyone. My concern is my concern regards authenticity of the papers. Like mm. last time, mm. last semester, there are mm. papers that were uploaded on the platform mm. and after a few hours in the examination time, um, some schools came out to say that the papers were not the rightful papers uploaded on the platform. How are mm. you going to do it this time around? That's all. Thank Good. you. Thank you. Uh, the moderation is actually happening right now for your exams. And we are very sure that whatever will come to you will be the actual exam that you're supposed to have. Thank you for that uh, notification. Uh, welcome, thank you. Niwa Ani, Niwa please unmute. Sorry. After Niwa we can have Ernest. And then we George. Good morning, Mr. Joseph. Good morning, sir. Hello. Hello, good morning, sir. Yes, sir. I would like to... I would like to know uh, for how long will that paper be taking, each paper? Like if we, if we like we start it like at nine, at our, at what time are, are we going to be ending that paper for submit then we submit it? Okay. Yeah. There are two options. One, some papers will, will one moment, some papers will be twelve hours. Meaning you start in the morning at 7, it ends at 7 in the evening. Others will be 6 hours, you start in the morning at 7, it ends at midday. So the moment you, you look at mm. the start, then count the number of hours, and from the instructions, you'll be able to know how many hours you're working with. Okay, okay another question, Mr. Joseph. Mm. For sure, I would like you to help us because many of us we have tried our level best to to enroll and okay, to we have e learning stuff for sure we have failed. okay uh, what Mr. Joseph, are you getting me yeah, yeah. yeah. to say it in the one in the yes. Is that enrollment yes. into the examination will be done by us as long as you've made the payments is and your name appears on a bursar's list then you'll be able to access exams what you only need to do is to log into your e-learning account right. and look for an exam called a uh, question called end of semester exams that's where you're going to have your exams put once again, we are going to come up with a document which I'm going to share by the end of today or tomorrow, explain to you how you access the course unit and how you submit your exam. But before that comes out, you can go to YouTube and search for how to submit an exam on Nuere. You'll get a video detailing how you can submit your exam online. Thank you very much. Ernest, the microphone is yours. Okay, thank you. Ernest? Yes, you are. After Ernest, we shall have Wagaba and the Wom Gisha Faith. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. My concern is one. Mm. Actually, the university is telling us we can't access the campus as of now, yes, following the SOP. 
Uh, can I can I correct you, sir, before you proceed? Can I correct you, sir? It is not the university that stopped you from accessing the university. It is a presidential directive that we are implementing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Proceed. Mm. Sorry? Please. Uh, better. Better. Mm. The store on the other side decided the unfit to enter. Then you know, right. Please go ahead. I've muted him. There is a challenge in accessing internet. Please increase your volume as well. Okay. My concern is about uh, the weekend students. Mm. But some of the information is always delivered during uh, weekdays and we don't access it. Now, I understand that uh, some information is put on WhatsApp group of the university where some of us are not enrolled. True. The question is, how do I access that group? Number two. Can I respond to that first? Thank you. Now, how can you have access? This is one of the major reasons why we are asking all students to have university emails, because with that, we'll be able to do a batch communication to each and every one. And we'll pretty sure and know that each of them has received that communication. The official means of communication of the university is through mails, not through WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a by the way. And that's why we're encouraging each and every individual to get a university email address such that we can better communicate with an authentic email. Some of you, when we ask you for your emails, you don't even know. For you, you know, but there are those who don't know. And we find a challenge, explain to them what they need to have. So doing this is helping us, but most especially it is helping you to get to know the feedback from the university as instant as it's supposed to come through. Go ahead, sir. The next concern is on your question, because you questioned us about uh, doing exams as a group. Mm. It will be considered as malpractice. You are right. But mm. look at your situation whereby I don't have a gadget to do exams. Mm. Mm. Laptop, a computer. Mm. And I'm sitting next to a friend who is doing his work efficient, and I also do. Mm. Okay, now if you're waiting for a colleague to finish and then you're coming, it doesn't necessarily mean that you should type the same, the same similar work. You've worked on your own work, they have worked on their own work. I type my work, you type your work. But we're all using the same computer to submit the same work, the, the, the different copies of our work. The scenario has been that Ernest sits with Joseph, with Ivan, just a moment, Alex sits, sits with Joseph, Ivan, and Martha, and they say, which paper do we have? Business communication. How many numbers? Four numbers. Do one number, I do one number, he does one number, she does one number. Let us put it together and submit. Now, when you submit such kind of work, you'll be submitting different copies of that work, but we shall do a many-to-many -many comparison using the anti-plagiarism software. And as long as it indicates that it is a 100% duplicate, my brother, my sister, you're going to miss out on Max, and that is now a total example of an exam malpractice. If you happen to go to the internet and pick something, don't paste it the way it is. Read whatever you've gone through, analyze and understand what you've read through, then give your own interpretation of what you've understood out of what you have read from the internet. In the event that you must copy and paste, please cite or quote the owner of that work that you're giving us on the internet. That is my say for now. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. Well, lastly, I submit a request. Yes. On behalf of my 
fellow students. Acceptable. That uh, amidst this uh, pandemic, pandemic. Mm. we request the university administration mm. to consider those who have not yet finished the question. Mm. That they can sit in the exam, and when mm. we resume, or mm. even in the examination, we mm. can be able to say there is many imbalance. It is not necessary that someone has not completed maybe because they want, it could be that because of different causes or problems, the university has a way how it can get this institution to be. I request that yeah. next order. I think I know I know where you're going. It is okay. Thank you. Now what has changed is the mode of attempting these exams. But we are under the same university, the same administrators, and the same lecturers who are setting these exams. If it were physical uh, exams that were being sat, you'd walk into any office, explain your problem, and then you are assisted. Now, the reason why we shared all numbers of all key offices within the university, and that is the BASA, or Finance, Academic Registrar, e-learning, deans, and so on, was to let you know that the same process is still available, the same avenues are still available for you to explore in case you have any given problem. Reach out to those people, explain what your problem is, and once that has been done and they buy in your idea, they will be able to give you the help you need and be able to sit for the exams. I Thank owe you. Thank you very much. Uh, lastly, let us all observe FOP and IFP. Thank you very much. Okay, can we have uh, Wagaba George? Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, my concern is about uh, the timetable. I've had some other students say they have got in the timetable. I don't know where they've got it from or from the web. So I wanted some clarification on that. Another thing mm. is about my account, because mm. I used it the last semester, mm. but it has been quite a long period, it has mm. been dormant, but when I opened it, it opens, but there are no any documents. I don't know whether that very account will work for me and how to activate it in it. Hey, my brother Wagaba. Yeah. I don't know if you've been part of us for the last 20 minutes. I've just joined because it was unable to join. Okay. Apologies. But we also had a YouTube channel where we are all we are on live as we speak. Okay. So, <clears throat> the same account you had last semester or last year is still valid. I want to also mention that there is no extra pay that you're going to do for the e-learning. The money you pay the university is inclusive of the e-learning fee. It's an extra service we are giving you for life to continue as if it were normal. So just go ahead with that account. And on 21st, make sure you've cleared your tuition to zero balance or whatever is applicable to you. Then on 21st, you're going to find a new course called end of semester examinations under your profile. Sit or attempt those exams in there. For the days you'll be attempting exams and once you're done, submit your exams into the same place. I want to repeat, into the same place. Avoid submitting your exams to individual lecturers. Avoid submitting your exams to people's email addresses. I repeat, avoid submitting exams to people's email addresses. At the end of the day, you might be the one to lose out. So make sure you submit the exam in the approved place, and that is the e-learning system. 
it is still the examination and the examination process states that you pick the exam from the e-learning you pick the exam from e-learning not from whatsapp submit the exam back to e-learning not on someone's email address okay. thank you then the, the timetable we have to get it by the end of today we shall have the timetable out on on um, which platform uh, it will be shared on the university website because that's, that is more authentic. And then even WhatsApp, uh, in, yeah. then yeah. WhatsApp groups, that is just a by the way. But Thank the you. most authentic one is will, will be on the e-learning, rather on uh, the website. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Faith, microphone uh, is yours. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. My concern is, is more different from this other one. Um, Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Faith, please unmute yourself once again. Apologies. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I'm saying I'm an uh, exemptionist student in my last semester. For some reasons, I'm doing uh, nine course units as approved by my school dean and the AR. So my concern is, will the system allow me to do nine course units? As long as they have been approved already, the same approval will cut through. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Saddam? Saddam? Asiwa? I don't know who Hisense is. Saddam, please. Uh... Naswa. Hello. Uh, good morning, sir. Saddam, your network is bad. Please. Uh... <clears throat> your network is bad. Mm. Nasua? We have Nasua Diana and then uh, High Sense U40 and Alinda again. Okay, Nasua seems not to be ready. Hello, sir. High Sense, please go ahead. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Now, please get out of the kitchen. Hello. Yes, please. Okay, my concern is, last time you didn't answer me, I asked you where could I get the form to register for the email. Then secondly, you've talked of people in Kampala accessing hotspot and Wi-Fi. By then, some of us are not within Kampala. How are we going to go about it? Thank you. I didn't say people in Kampala. <clears throat> I say it's across the country. As long as you're able to get access to uh, a hotspot called Edrom, you should be good to go. Without Edrom, then you use your data. Okay, thank you. Then for, for the link, I don't know if you've been a part of us since morning, but I've been sharing the same link in the chat room. And I've just shared it again. And even onto the screen here, it is being shared. Please go there and uh, fill that form. Okay. Thank you. Nyakato Esther. <coughs> Can we have Susan Mutonyi and Drich James, then Agnes Amoiti?
Susan. Uh, thank, thank you so much, Mr. Joseph. Yes, sir. Good morning. Now we are going to have Susan first. We have James next and the uh, Amoiti third. Yeah, actually, my concern is about uh, you said you are going to send us a recording, but uh, yep. we really don't know how we are going to get it. My other concern is about uh, getting your contact in case we are stuck and having some issues. That is when within the exam period. Hello. Hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are my two concerns. Thank you. Those are my contacts. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Mr. Joseph. Okay. Um, next one, James. James. Same people are tired of asking, so I think we call this of Nyakato Esther. <clears throat> Yanji Grace. Yes. Uh, uh... Good morning once again, Mr. Joseph. Good morning. Yes, uh, I wanted to talk about the timetable. Mm. Uh, you say for in case for a normal student who have enrolled has six course units, mm. he may have exam which time run from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm. Now, in case now you have like a abnormal Mm. or maybe your timetable reading two questions in a day. Mm. You'll have six hours per mm. paper. Mm. Now, if I'm a student of normal, I'm sharing a question with a student who is doing an abnormal paper. Well, I'm doing abnormal. Mm. How will, will our time be different or we are going to divide that time as they are? How is it done physically? If you are here, how would it be done? Moses? Uh, yes. Hello. If I if I am if it is physical, I will be doing it for three hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then that person who is doing two papers will do his paper in the afternoon. Yeah, please. You, that, you need to discuss it with the people concerned, and they will be able to give you the guidance. Mm. Don't sit down with the problems. Eh? Please air them out. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. You're welcome. Babas, I name Babas Jen. Thank you, sir. Mm. You said it's not good to use our phone to submit. Mm. If we are two people and we are having one laptop, mm. are we allowed to use that laptop to submit our work? Yes, you are. Okay, as long you. as you're submitting the same work. All right. Thank you. Uh, can we have uh, Abdallah? Abdallah? Yangi, Grace? Galaxy J5. <clears throat> Galaxy J5. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mm. Um, my concern is Thanks. like um I have already the e-learning account and I used it last semester for my exam. Mm. And uh, I'm trying to update my profile, but it's telling me I need the university email and I don't have it, so am I supposed to get it? Thank you. I don't know if you've been a part of us, Grace, but uh, there is uh, a share, uh, there's something shared on screen. 
for you to that is uh, there is that link down there that you can uh, copy then fill a form for you to be able to get uh, uh, we'll be able to give you an email address at the end of the day so make sure you fill that form uh, galaxy j5 Galaxy J5. Okay, can we have uh, Infinix Hot 10? Can we have Infinix J10 Hot 10 Lite? Can we have uh, Abdallah? Yes, hello. Yes, please. Galaxy. Yes, Hot 10. Hot 10. Okay, go my ahead. Name is, my name is Brasio, and I'm a student of uh, in service. I'm doing distance rather. Uh, may I know? You see, I'm sorry I joined you a little bit late. You could have sorry. discussed this later, but you forgive me. It's okay. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, shall you repeat uh, for us those? Images and how we are getting the link here. I couldn't think you were talking about. It's okay. I'm going to repeat when I'm closing. Yes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you have uh, Charimpa? Charimpa? Abalo Florence? Thank you, Joseph. Hello. Hello. Yes, I uh, would like to know when are you going to post demo exam so that we start practicing? Mm -hmm. uh, as we end this, I'll, we shall have a demo exam already in there. As okay, I do, thank you. yes, as I do the, I, I'm doing this, I'm trying to put up something. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. Uh, who is this? Techno Power Three, Agnes Amoiti. Yes. Good. Good. Good morning. Abdallah. Good morning. Bikango and. Okay. Abalo. Yes, Abalo. Go ahead. Good morning. Yes. Thank Hello. you very much for the meeting. Though I I joined very late. I request, if possible, what as what we have missed. I don't know where we can get it again, so that it guide us also. Because, like me, I have not yet registered, though I paid the tuition already. But where to get the email address for the university? Uh, if you people you could repeat for us or share with us where we can get. And um, you you mentioned that we should not use our email address. If I could recall, uh, so what is a way forward to submit the exams? And secondly, in case the network is very poor, especially in other areas, and then but these twelve hours fun. elapsed, you did not even finish. What should what should we what should be done? Okay, um, thank you. I think I said that when you have issues, don't keep quiet with the issues, especially when you're doing exams. Make sure you communicate. Okay? Make sure Hello. you communicate. Okay. Enough, and yes. when you communicate, you'll be able to come to your rescue and give the assistance that you need. Hello. So don't okay. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Hello. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, good. Oh, good morning, Joseph. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now, I would maybe like to take you back a little bit. I need a little bit of clarification on this. You said, if you're going, if we're going to do the, the exam, you find that, or you, you, you select end of semester exams, right? Yep. And then after that is when you can access the exams that you're supposed to be doing. Sure. Does that mean we we do not need again to enroll for these exams in the system by ourselves? 
No, you don't Since need they to. Were ready. Okay, two, when choosing the exam to do, earlier on you said that these exams are going to be the same for all programs. That's day, mm. week, evening, and weekend. Mm. And then you also say that again, it's the exam uh, where the papers are going to do, there will be names of the lecturers who have been now, teaching. Yes, I was wondering, do I choose the paper that the lecturer has been teaching or the paper against the names of the lecturer who has been teaching me? If, if you see the name of the lecturer who has been teaching you against a specific paper that you're looking for, please mm -hmm. go ahead and attempt the paper. All right. Thank you so much. Otherwise, I'm waiting for my email address. I don't Sounds know how like you're going to send. You said to be message? Message? Don't, worry, don't come through. All right. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Another person? Yes, another person. Mr. Yes, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, this is uh, uh, Nathan Bissimo uh, from South Sudan. Actually, I'm using uh, my colleague's uh, account for, for, for this training. Sorry. So I uh, thank you so much. Uh, I've been uh, really... Uh, uh, getting all you have been saying and the training is so nice. So I have only like uh, three three clarifications that I need. Mm. Uh, the first one is uh, on the, the tuition because uh, earlier on you said that uh, the person who has not uh, cleared the tuition may not mm. uh, be in position to access uh, the exams. But for, for, for those of us who have already cleared, so mm. is there any link or a form that we are going again to, to fill so that we, we have the exams or the system will just allow us to do it? And that one is the first one. And the second one is uh, all about the duration of the exams, like uh, what my, my sister has just said. So we uh, I've not yet got it clearly, the duration, like the hours that each paper is going to be like taking for, for before it's, before I mean, it's submission. So that one also you need to at least tell me something about it. Uh, and, and the last one is uh, about the link that you had you stated earlier on about the, the, the internet. Because uh, you said that there's a link that uh, people will get so that they can use uh, the internet that the universe will pay uh, later on. So what is the link? I did not get it very clear because my network was, was not okay. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you too. Um, I mentioned of um, the link uh, for, for internet. And we said, um, as long as you are in a place that has a hotspot called Edrom, please go ahead and use the details you got from the university to access internet. If you are in a place where there is no aid room, then it may not work for you. That is one. Two, if you've cleared your tuition and uh, Yes? If you cleared your tuition, and uh, you've not been cleared before you left, see, that is okay. Get in touch with the finance. They'll be able to clear your, your portal to zero balance. Then you'll be able to you have your name appear on the list. Four, you don't need to enroll yourself in any other course unit for examination purposes. We are going to do the enrollment ourselves based on that list from accounts. I don't know if I've cleared everything that you raised. Yeah, you have cleared. Maybe lastly, just is uh, about uh, the link that uh, you, you, have, you have put uh, as a on the screen. Uh, mm -hmm. Is this the link that you're supposed to follow to get uh, uh, the new uh, university email address? Yes, sir. Okay. Listen, because for me, I have only the previous account that had created, but uh, for, for this one, for university, maybe the I need to create account, account. Actually, You can actually edit your previous account once you get this email address. Okay. Thank you so much. Hmm. Thank you, too. Uh, any other person before I can uh, take you through the last bit? We have Paul, Zora, we have uh, Tekino, Abdallah. Please uh, ask your questions. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, how are you? Uh, 
I was, I want to ask about, because I was doing, I'm going to do like course, courses in, on day and distance. So how will I process that? Because I have like some newspapers, I was going to do them on distance. And also those, I have also eight opportunities which I'm doing on day. So I want to know how I'm going to do them. Sorry, how many questions are you doing on day? Eight, seven, and no more, and one. And then distance? Hello? How many questions are you doing on day? Eight questions. And then on, on distance? On distance, there are four. So you're doing 12 course units? Uh, yes, on distance, there are four. And on day there are uh, my brother, you misplaced. That is not possible. It will not happen. Let me warn you all enough. Which school are you from? Yes. SBIT. SBIT. Yes. What's your name? Mulai Labdala Jamalati. How do you spell your name? M O U L A I. L I L M O U L A I L okay A B D A A B D A D J A M A that is enough your student, what is your student number 1800 1800 100 one zero four one zero zero one zero zero okay eight nine eight five nine thank you but you need to check yourself because uh -huh. yes i don't have uh, 12 papers done in a single semester uh -huh. that is uh -huh. not true it cannot happen maybe when they were going to be done uh physically they could have it could be okay maybe because no, even, even if they were physical you cannot have 12 papers in a, one semester no others they are missed papers it's they are not normal then uh, i also want to let you know that you didn't focus on lecturers names Pardon? i want to let you know from those from education yeah. Uh -huh. When you're doing exams, don't focus on lecturer's name, especially in the School of Education. Um, let me check. Rather look at the, the course unit name and your study mm -hmm. mode. Yes. yes. No, it is 30. It is 30. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we good to go? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Another uh, person? person? Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. morning. How are you? Sir, fine. My question is, and according to the lecture, who told me? For example, I have oral. Now, who is that gentleman that is not muting himself? Okay. Please go ahead. Apologies. <coughs> so we muted you. What was this? Oh God. Anne Charisima, please go ahead. Yakato Esther, go ahead.
Gertrude, I think you failed to understand what we are explaining. Uh, this is what I want to let you know, Gertrude, Athieno. <clears throat> you said your exams are on a physical timetable, but not on Nuere. Not even one paper. What is your fate? Please get in touch with your school. They are the ones responsible. They are, they are the ones responsible for making sure that your timetable is up and running. So <clears throat> I want to end the questions there, but I want to be able to log in and show you something. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so this is, I'm repeating for those who had missed out. One minute you log into your profile. I'm going to do it again. <clears throat> You're going to find a course unit for those who want to practice. <clears throat> yeah, the ones I'm going to respond to. Um, <clears throat> come log in, your username and password. Yeah. After logging Very in, chill. search for questions called exams. You're going to get two course units. One is end of semester exams, you cannot get in yourself. And the second one is the sample end of semester exams 2021. Because you want to practice how the exams will be. Starting 21st, you'll be able to find end of semester exams. But as of today, you're going to use a sample end of semester 21, exams 2021. Go to enter course and then enroll yourself. As we speak now, there is already a sample exam which is there for you. Click at the exam name. The exam name will have three parts. The instructions will be able to display the first part be the personal details. Second part will be how to access the exam and how to submit uh, your details which are here. Make sure you include your index number in a full as it's supposed to be when you're submitting. Uh, down you have a third uh, option which is submission steps. They are also there for you. And then you have the exam itself. Click at the exam with this file which is a word document. Go and attempt this exam. Once you're done attempting the exam, come back to your e-learning account, log in, and then go to add submission. Click at add submission <clears throat> as a student, and then you're going to, you have two options to have your content or your exam uploaded. You can either drag and drop your exam here and rename it, or click at add submission, it's a little bit slow, and then you go ahead <clears throat> and add your file. So you move down to add your file, click at this arrow, then upload file, choose where your file is, select your file and say open, then put your student number there or your index number. So if you're 20, um, just click one here. So maybe 20, 21, then maybe August. Maybe to four something day. Something like that. And then you say upload this file. <clears throat> the system is going to pick your file as is with the name you give, you've given it. With the name you've given it. And then once this process is done, you click save changes. And that means you have submitted your exam. Let's give it a few minutes for it to. Uh -huh. Then once you're like this at this moment, 
you click at save changes. The moment you click at save changes, it's going to tell you status, you've already submitted for grading. And this is where you confirm from. You don't even need to call me or to call anyone. Just look at your account and see. Does it show submitted for grading? If the answer is yes, then you have submitted. If the answer is no, you've not had any submission. Then you'll be able to see the file you have submitted, plus the date and the time you have submitted your file. That's how we are going to access the exam and submit the exam. So Mr. Mawa David, you said you don't have an, an account. I don't know what you mm -hmm. mean, but what you can do, make sure I repeat, make sure you have a university email address, register for it, and then create an account on the eLearn. For those who don't have accounts, if you look at this particular window, there is a new account. New account <clears throat> and put in your details. What you want to use as a username, your password, your first name, your last name, your email address, that is the university email address, your time zone, and then click at create my account. Otherwise, from me to you, that is the end. That is all I had for you. Let's keep engaging online, on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on Twitter, we able to give you the help that you need. Uh, yes, uh, Infinix Hot, any question? Unmute. Please unmute. I just I would like I would like just to request you uh, to share with us your WhatsApp number because I'm not linked there. My WhatsApp number is on screen. <clears throat> right. okay. How about this number that is zero two something? Zero two something is Airtel. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, Abalo, your hand is up. We are taking the last set of questions, then we can go. And Kenneth? Okay, see, people don't want Hello. to talk. Hello. Yes, please. Hello. Hello. Yes, Hello. team, it sounds to be type to exam, sir. Thank you. Okay, uh, before it seems poor, I don't want to talk. Uh, can I ask uh, Rosemary? Rosemary, no. where is Rosemary? Rosemary, Katwe Sige. Please unmute yourself. Rose, unmute yourself. Yes, uh, good morning, Rose. Give us uh, the closing prayer, and then we call it a day. Okay, thank you, sir. Let's humble ourselves and pray. <clears throat> Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this day. We want to thank you for the wonderful session we've had. Father, we continue to pray for your protection. May you guide us as we're going to start our exams. Give us your heaven, your wisdom, so that we'll be able to interpret the questions very well and succeed. Father, protect each and every one, Father, from the deadly COVID-19. May each one of us here be very safe so that by the time we resume the physical lectures, we'll all be sound and well. Father, we bless you. We thank you for this day, and we pray that we'll have a fruitful week. Thank you, Jesus. We bless and glorify your name. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And thank you, members, for being uh, around from morning up to this time. Wish you success. Feel free to always come back to us. We'll be able to give you the help that you need. Over to you. Nice lunch. Thank you. Okay. Um. You can unmute and say hi to each other as you exit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
thank you so much, Mr. Julian, for the wonderful session. Thank you for Thank you very much. We hope for the best. It was a very wonderful presentation. God bless you. Thank you, everyone. What is the duration before the exam is 100 years? Thank you so much. Thanks, Mr. Joseph. May God bless you. Um, what is the duration for exams to be handed in? Mr. Joseph, you are the best. What is the duration for exams to be handed in? They said that you say how they didn't say that you ask questions. You are just making noise. Nice time. Are you okay? You kind of missed the first question. Duration. Thank you. We are around. Was very refreshing. For exams are handed in. Thank you for asking. Hello. Question examination duration has never been answered. Everyone, I think all has been well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Duration for example. What is the duration? What is the I'm going to i to Phoenix. Phoenix was ten. Like. Can you get to me by a WhatsApp? Hi, colleagues. Uh, for some of you who are there in Uganda, uh, who are also part of uh, our WhatsApp group, please uh, keep posting any other information so that we'll always be in touch and also benefit from whatever is going on uh, from the other side. Otherwise, thank you very much. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, colleagues, if you can uh, hear me, um, my name is Titus. In case someone has any other thing to inquire or to uh, say, maybe this could also be a right time to just use the opportunity to discuss it. When are we officially starting the exams or when the table? 
Не те бъдам да бъде дисциплитите, ето аз. Некои се обмача си. My friend, I didn't hear your name clearly, but uh, it looks like you're uh, asking for the date of the exams, right? How am I the phone? No, that's why last time you see, I disturbed you last time because you have to I just hope. Hello? Hello, may you tell us the date of Beckham, please? When are we starting? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, we are starting on the 21st of uh, June this month. Uh, can somebody confirm that it's true that we're starting the exams on 21st? Now, now when is the time table going to be distributed to students? When is it going to be distributed? Thank you so much. Gentlemen. I've actually missed most of the session. I don't know. <laughs> 